Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure port forwarding camera on the Microtech router. Okay, so in this video, very important that you can uh, access uh, to the uh, camera or access to the um, DVR camera by the mobile port and by the uh, access from the web browser. Okay, so Okay, before I um, show you how to configure, I want to explain you about this diagram. Okay, so uh, in this diagram that you see, we have the magnetic router connected to the switch. Okay, this is the switch. Okay, this is uh, internal our PC connected to the switch. Okay, and then we connect to the, the VR camera to the switch also. Okay, before you configure port forwarding in the, the magnetic router, you have to put IP address into the DVR camera. Okay, so uh, remote access can access to the DVR camera by the, the IP. Okay, okay, public IP or uh, IP camera. Okay, so into the uh, DVR camera, we have two port. Okay, one mobile port. Okay, for the access uh, in, uh, camera by the mobile phone. Okay, one more port for the TCP port. We can access a, a camera by the remote PC. Okay, we tie the public IP or and port, so we can remote and view the camera into our uh, web browser. Okay, so this is a popular for the remote from the web browser or remote from the mobile phone. Okay. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to configure in the Microtech router. Okay, I'm open the big box. Okay, so I'm connect to the my device Microtech router. Okay, this is a real device. Okay, real uh, Microtech router. Okay, this is the name of the Microtech router that I use. Ob 2011. UIA S okay okay and then I'm go to the IP okay and firewall okay and then you click on the NAT okay for the NAT you have to add one more okay and add one and, and general okay and general you choose the destination NAT okay okay and then protocol you choose the TCP protocol Okay, destination port. Destination port, you have to put the port. Okay, you have to put the port that you want to remote into the camera. If, example, if you want to configure port for mobile port, mobile phone, you have to put the port of uh, mobile phone. Okay, uh, if you want to remote camera by the web browser, you have to put the port for the TCP that you see into to the uh, device camera. Okay, for in this video, I'm remote to the camera by the web browser, so I'm put um, uh, set the port for the TCP. Okay. Okay, so I'm tie the port TCP destination to the port camera. Okay, and then uh, action. You click on the action. For the action, you choose uh, destination. Okay. Okay, destination map. Okay, and to address. To address, we have to forward forward to the IP camera okay you have to put the IP camera into the address okay the IP camera okay to port to port you put the port of the cam DVR camera okay for this one if you want to remote by the mobile phone you put the port for the mobile phone in this one also Okay, in this one also, also, okay, and then you click, uh, okay, okay, this is the forwarding port that we configure in the Microtech router, okay, okay, after you configure already, you can test it, remote to the camera by the mobile, by the web browser, okay, I'm open the uh, Firefox. Okay, and then I'm um, tie the IP from IP uh, camera, DVR camera. Okay, for remote to the camera. Okay. 
okay and then you tie the port also okay and then on enter okay so you can say that you see okay I'm remote to the camera okay this is the interface for the camera okay you have to put the username and the the password into the camera so you can view the camera okay so example example um this one uh, Okay, so uh, if you want to find the right uh, uh, courage or username and the password, uh, so you can access to the camera. Okay, for um, no need to the tie the username and the password because I don't want you so you see the my username and the password also for my uh, secret for the my security camera. Okay, for this one, I'm no need to tie the username and the password. Just so you how to configure portal within. Okay, just you see like this, you just type the username and the password for your camera so you can access by the website. Okay, for this video, I'm um, just so you focus on this one. Okay, how to configure and port forwarding into the uh, camera. Okay, this one is uh, our configuration. So, okay, in this video, uh, video I'm finished. So, all of you help me to launch, uh, comment, and share. It's especially you can subscribe on my channel Cisco Triangle or my Cisco Learning. Okay, thank you for watching my video.